Hey guys, welcome back to Against Mods. Um, so yeah, you kind of saw this package earlier in the uh, previous video today on the uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, Raycor Blaster. Um, but this is from Franz Foamworks. I've been waiting for this one for probably a month and a half to get here. Um, but it's here now. So this is mod parts for the uh, Adventure, for Adventure Force Pro Deuce Pro. Uh, as well as the uh, Dart Zone uh, Tomcat. Um, so let's go ahead and open this. I don't know if we'll do both mods in this video. Uh, we might, this might be a two part video where we do uh, one and then the other in the second part. Uh, but it all depends on time. Let's see here. I think you guys voted on um, the Tomcat because I, I think I put up one for was it from Foam Demic and then this one from uh, Franz Foamworks. <coughs> Here's the order. Yep. There we go. All right. Let's get into the nitty gritty. What we got here? Looks like some railing. This looks like stuff for the Tomcat. Uh, more stuff for the Tomcat. Tomcat. I think there's just one piece for the um, Deuce, but I'm not positive. So we will go through this here. And uh, that's it in the package. All right, so let's see here. All right, so here we go. So let's see here. This is the um, better size pump grip, I guess, for the Tomcat. Um, this is a scope for the Tomcat. I need to clean this up just a smidge. Um, but that, I thought it was really cool. Now, all the Tomcat pieces did come in a kit. Uh, I will link the you know the kit down below, of course, uh, at the end here. Um, so it came with uh, the railing, the um, better pump grip, um, the continuing style, the scope, um, a double mag holder for your uh, talon mags, uh, the stock, which is very well made. Um, yeah, very well made. Um, the adapter itself for the talon mags. And we have some scar barrels, I think. This is the AccuSaber um, barrel. I'm not gonna... So this is for a buckshot. That's pretty sick. And it just goes on there like so. So I guess you can shoot three shots out of that. I think these two are for the um, uh, Deuce Pro. And then that, those are interchangeable like that. So that's for a single. And this is for a buckshot so very cool um i think these are just pushing inserts uh we'll see let me go get uh the blasters and we'll be right back all right guys we're back with the uh the uh juice pro here so we're going to take the front off just like so um i have the tomcat down by my feet so let's see this should go right in here i believe Hmm. The only thing that I don't like about this, and it's not a big thing, is that it doesn't like lock. So it's a little wiggly. Maybe that's just me. Um, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. That looks pretty cool. Uh, put some short darts in there. See how it works. 
Now, if I open this and pop this out, you know, I load three in the front there. Is that how that works? I guess so. We're going to find out. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, but uh, all right. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so there's a the normal, and then if you want to put on the other uh, to use your cylinder, you can just prime it again. Throw that in there. Oh, that was an empty, empty round. There we go. So yeah, very cool. Um, I might have to message him to see if there's a way to actually lock that more, or if there's a way. Because I don't know if there's a correct way to push this on or not. It's not really specified. I figure there's only one way to do it. But yeah, that's, uh, I'd probably use a buckshot version just for that. Or actually, if you don't even want to use this, you could just leave this in here just to minimize it, I guess. Because uh, it gives you the brass barrel insert for the uh, rod that goes through the whole blaster to shoot out the dart. And I think that'll actually work. Let me try. Yep, that'll work. And that was right by my head. So that will work very nicely. I'm gonna keep the buckshot on there just for now. So there's that. And then let's get our Tomcat here. Now with the Tomcat, we will have to disassemble some stuff just because, um, well, maybe not. Well, the palm grip we will. I think that's the only piece that we would actually have to uh, mess with. So we're going to take the stock off and the stock goes on, I believe, pretty simply like that, maybe, some just wiggle on there, maybe not, maybe so, I don't know. There we go, that's on there now. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and prime it to get that rod out of the way. It's kind of the same kind of rod that they use for the uh, <clears throat> for the Aeon Pro, which is, I get why they do it, but it's not necessary really. Okay, let's see, how does this go here? Dark gate needs to go. I've never messed with this. Uh, let's see. Now, so I'm guessing that has to go up here, like so. Okay. That's gonna go in there, like so. So this. Basically, it almost has to kind of go like that in a sense. So, where do these two pieces go? Oh, I guess they're going to go over like that. Mm. I think, the, oh, it's reversed. So, that's going to go like that. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know which way this goes. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Okay, I figured it out. So, the way that it sets is you're going to have this piece 
you have this with the diamond kind of thing. You're just going to set it into that groove there, just like that. And then this one's going to set up right along like that. Um, so you have, you can see all the way through that hole there. So it lines up and then you're basically just going to put it through the thing right here, I believe. I don't know how this is supposed to work. If it's not, uh, it's not <laughs> like it should link together somehow. It should stay together. You don't shouldn't be able to have to hold it, but let's see here. Exchange indeed. I wonder if I have this backwards. It's very hard to tell. Yeah, I think I have it backwards. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, because I think that goes up in there. Like so. This goes in there. Like so. It's a very odd way of doing it. Your best bet is probably to do it outside first. So this is the front. Let's see which way this faces. Oh, that goes like that. Okay. And this goes like that. Okay. Let me slide it in like so. There we go. Okay, it's in there. All right, good. Uh, and then these pieces, I wonder if they just snap on there. Ah, yeah. I'm going to flip it over. Try not to hit ourselves in the face. Yeah. Um, now I wonder, let me see something. So you can potentially take that all that out at once if you really want to switch back to the drum. Um, somewhat, I think you can glue it all together. Don't glue it to the actual blaster, glue it just the pieces together. Like a drop maybe. Um, but for me, I'm gonna leave it as is, just in case. If I wanna switch back to the drum. Cause the drum does offer that um, 50 round, uh, capacity which is very nice I'm going to take these off here put on the uh, the site that he gave us which is just with a simple screwdriver should be able to undo and redo there's a wall up there and that should come on done like so enough to work and put it slide on there we go I'm gonna put it on probably there at least for now <sighs> Put the nut on this side. I think we got it. Maybe, sort of.
There we go. All right, so that's on there. That's pretty sleek. Uh, and then the next part is the uh, pump grip that we're gonna do, uh, which I believe we just take apart with four screws in here and the stock foregrip. And I believe the pieces that he sent us, I think they just go over the uh, piece that's beneath this. Hopefully, I don't want to have to open it apart fully if I don't have to. Yeah, it looks like it. So very nice. So let's see here. Now there's no screws that came with this, but let's just see here. <clears throat> I wonder if it's just friction fit. I mean, to solidify it, you can use uh, the four screws, or maybe even two screws, just here and here, um, which I may do, since we're not gonna be using them in the handle itself, unless we do use the same pump grip, but we probably aren't. backwards it might be backwards hold on Hmm. Let me see which direction it goes. I can't tell. Okay, I got it on the right way. So, the more material than the uh, Picatinny rail goes in the back, and this goes forward like so. Uh, now, there's friction fit on there, but I would suggest. I wonder if I can use these screws. They say to use other screws. Um, you can get them at Home Depot. We will see if these fit. I don't know if they will. But why not test the theory? Uh, let's see here. So we go in there and there. I probably need to get bigger ones because these are not going to have any grip. Yeah, there's no grip on them. So. Um, I think they say M16 or something. I might have to look around and find them. Um, it shouldn't be hard to find. You can get them at any, uh, any Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, whatever's near you that uh, sells screws. But the next part that we're going to do is the front muzzle. So you're just going to take that guy off. This is gonna go in your front there, like so, question mark, so, yeah. So there you go, that's pretty cool. Um, and, oh, and then the last part is the um, double magazine holder. So I brought down two of my 18 round uh, worker talon mags, the curved ones, and let's see which way these go. 
Oui. Did that go in here? I am lost. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Hmm, maybe they don't go for the curves. I don't think they do. Maybe they go for the uh, straight edge. I'm gonna go grab those. Alright guys, so I brought it out to the uh, regular 15 round, uh, round straight mags. I also brought the Tachi because they're pretty straight in the top until they get down to here. Um, but I want to try both. So let's see here. That works. They are very, ow. They are very snug in there. Do not stab yourself when you're pushing this through. So yeah, just like that. So for the 15 round, it will work. Uh, the curved 18, it will not. Let's try the Tachi. Because what's, why not? Uh, let's see here. Oh. It actually works a lot easier with the Tachi uh, 29 round mags. Very cool. And now, let's pretend the pump grip was working. <laughs> or not. <laughs> yeah, I may have to glue those pieces on just because they're gonna be a pain and they're gonna fall off. Might have to ask him what the best way to do that is. There you go. Now, it kind of wobbles a little bit just because of the weight. Um, but it will fire. So, cool. And now this is just a friction fit in and a friction uh, fit pull out. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I think it looks pretty sick. Now, once I get the screws for this, you can put any um, Picatinny rail based um, grip on this. You can even put this one on that if you really want to. Um, I myself am going to put, put this guy on. I wonder if I can actually put this on, hold that together. I doubt it though. But you can see in there, uh, let's see. There are four, four holes uh, for the screws, so, yeah, I'm probably gonna take this with me to Home Depot just to make sure I get the right size. Um, yeah, but overall, it's a really cool, uh, really cool kit. Uh, everything was included, the magazine conversion, the scope, the Accu uh, Saber Barrel for the front, the pump grip uh, stabilizer, and the stock, which is on there pretty darn good. Um, yeah, let me see. Hmm. Uh, let me check real quick to see if I have any screws because I kind of want to do, do a test firing just because. All right, I dug through my screws and I found uh, these two. Uh, they're not the right ones because I don't even know what sizes these are. These are left over from other projects. Um, but it will screw into the smaller holes on the end. So for now, I'm just gonna put them in, put the pump grip on it just to get a, uh, a feel for the prime and everything. Um, now, the things that we didn't do yet is uh, go over the side panels here. Um, I think this goes on the other side like that. But basically, I think all you have to do is put some super glue on here and uh, adhere it like so. Um, I might do that a little bit later, but for now, I just want to get the pump grip done. Um, I'll put that over the off. And let's see, it goes like this. Make sure that's set in there, like so. There we 
go. Now, when you do get the actual hardware for this, you're gonna want the screws that fit as well as a, uh, a nut that goes in on the other side because the screw is gonna be longer than the ones I have now, I believe. That's that. I'll do this one. Might loosen that a little bit just until we get this one in. I don't want to overdo it and strain it because number one, it is a 3D printed part. If you do that, you got to buy a whole new piece. All right, have that in there just enough. Just so it doesn't wobble to and fro. Um, now we're going to put this guy on. And if I remember correctly, it's the second to the biggest. Yep. This is a 964 uh, hex key. For the worker mod. Uh, grip bolts and nuts and they come apart pretty easily here like so line that up with the fake tuning rail here like so put the piece back on there like so wait it's upside down there we go that looks a little better the nuts back in there I'm gonna do one at a time just because once you get one, the other one should be very easy to uh, put in afterwards. Again, don't tighten up too hard when you're uh, adhering, uh, not adhering, but <coughs> clamping stuff down or inside of 3D printed parts just because the more strain you put on it, the more liable it's to snap because it is a good material, but it's not um, that durable. It's durable, but it's not that durable. So I think we got pretty good here. I can pull that out. And there we go. There's a little bit of a whatever you want to call that, a kick back or a kick forward. <laughs> um, for now, I'm just going to load this guy up. And we'll put a few darts in here. I mean, it's, it's going to be the same FPS that we got before. I think it was like, what, 170, 150. So it's going to go in. <laughs> just like so, I believe. Right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, so it works a lot better. Um, and actually, it, it feels more ego, uh, ego ergonomic this way, so I like it, I like it a lot actually. And you don't get that weird um strain of the handle of this guy. I mean, straight out uh, like that, you kind of get better with the angle. And without a drum, you're not hitting your wrist back against the drum, which is very nice. Um, it does take a little bit away on the 
um, you know, um, the amount of ammo you can have. But if you're a mag fed, um, uh, loadout kind of guy like I am, uh, I always have a ton of magazines on me. Um, this shouldn't be a problem for you. And, uh, I think it works very well. So yeah. Um, yeah, I need to find out how to adhere these on permanently. I'm guessing probably just a little glue here, a little glue here on the gray parts. And just smack that guy right on. Oh, well, the other side. You know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, I will leave the link below for both of these. Uh, this one and the uh, Adventure Force Pro Deuce Pro. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, this mod. I think it's very well done. And uh, it looks really slick. Um, this is nice. I don't know if I'm going to use it for this though, even though it fits very well with the aesthetic and everything. But this is actually very strong and I kind of want to use it on something else I have in mind. But I don't know how it will work. I have to test it. Um, but overall, uh, let me know which uh, mod you guys like best out of these two. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Please uh, like, follow, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.